Hi guys, we're back on another dreary fall day to go through our CDs and DVDs, the first of the kimono section, which is miscellaneous. Um, we're in the basement. Glorious basement. Look at how amazing it is. Or not. I actually try to avoid the basement as much as possible because everything I use and like is above ground. So I try not to come down here, which tells you a lot that, about the stuff down here. And you were traumatized by the bat that attacked you down here one time? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I still have nightmares. It didn't actually attack you, it just flapped around, but... It was terrifying. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> let's just show you, show you quickly where we keep our DVDs and CDs. I guess we'll go through CDs first and then DVDs next. We've gone through our CDs a few times over the years, and this is what's remained. So I think some of it might have some sentimental value that it survived so many purges already. Um, but we'll look at it again and with fresh eyes. The majority of our DVDs are stored in a couple um, shelves. That's the word I'm looking for in our basement. So uh, kind of a, a hodgepodge, truly electronic stuff on here. Um, I'll go in a little closer here. We've also got some old game systems like Nintendo 64 from when we were kids, throwback, and some games, but we decided that we're going to go through the video games during the electronic section just because we might get rid of some game systems and then we don't need the games anymore. We've got some of Cambria's DVDs here that we'll go through as well based on what she uses and likes. Um, up there is the box set of Stargate DVDs, the entire series, because Kevin's a nerd. And following with the nerd train is <laughs> Star Trek Next Generation. Again, throwback. Um, this in here, I think it's just... You can't really see it all, but it's just like electronic cables and adapters and stuff. Not for right now. This shelf is the bulk of our movies. These two, I guess. We also have a stash of computer CDs in a little drawer in one of our closets. Um, we're mostly going to be going through this with our electronics because a lot of it's software. This is a computer game from a long time ago. Um, but there is a couple music CDs in here. So we're kind of counting CDs and DVDs as the kimono section as like entertainment, um, not like electronics. So that's how we're dividing it. This is the pile of CDs we have. Uh, it turns out none of them are mine. Hooray! They're all Kevin's or uh, a couple just like of Cambria's little child kid music. Whatever. <laughs> Alright, go ahead, Kev. Continue. I don't know what I'm doing with these. Like, I haven't listened to them since the last time we went through them, which what? Would have been three years ago? Probably. But I feel like some of these are good albums that, like, I would listen to again. What do you feel when you pick them up? Are you... Do you feel... Do you the spark joy? I don't listen or to you music kind of feel much, sad? which is ironic for a musician, but... We listen mostly to audiobooks and podcasts, but I do listen to music sometimes. I think if I want to listen to any of these albums, like, you can pretty much find them online somewhere. And I have listened to these albums since, like, in the last year I've listened to some of these albums, but not using the CDs. I've gone online, or I think I even bought one of these albums off iTunes as well, so... I think that pretty much tells me I don't need to keep any of these unless they're a sentimental item. That's what I'm going to go with. So I will keep that. There's no downloading that. That is my uh, demo from my first band when I was 13 <laughs> years old. So I will keep that. <laughs> Definitely don't need that. That's Bill Cosby. That's Bill you can't Cosby. see one yeah. of his stand-up albums. Uh, I was a big Smashing Pumpkins fan, so like all of these are Smashing Pumpkins albums, um, including 
one that'll go in my sentimental items, which is uh, from an autograph signing that I got done uh, when I was in high school. So, um, oh, I forgot it's even smudged. So, but uh, yeah, I'll hold on to that for the moment. I think I'm gonna let this demo go. So, this is a demo from a band that I was kicked out of. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so, it does not spark joy. Uh, I'm gonna let it go. Uh, more Smashing Pumpkins, Holst. That's not mine. I know, it's mine. Just before I tossed it, you liked Holst too, so. It's true. A little side note, Kevin and I used to be in the concert band in high school. I played French horn. I say play, my air quotes. I played French horn and flute. Those are air quotes, not rabbit ears. <laughs> Kevin played a lot of things. A lot of things. That's a photo shoot from one of the bands that I haven't come across the album for yet. It's actually the same name as my current band. Uh, and three of us are the original members. One guy, we cut him. Uh... <laughs> Doggy Dog World and Vance. Was the same guy that cut me, actually. So. Oh, drama. <laughs> All comes back around. <laughs> um, yeah, some of these CDs aren't even mine. Like, that is a friend of mine that lives in Fredericton, uh, so I didn't get a chance to give it back to him. Um, I did send him a gift card online to replace it because I found I still had it. Um, and this one is a friend of mine that now lives in Germany, I believe. Um, I'm not even sure where in Europe she lives, but she lives somewhere in Europe. So she's not getting that back. Uh, she lent that to me in high school. And I have had it ever since. So I'm 32. <laughs> <laughs> so sucker, you got her music. Yeah, exactly, which I've never listened to. This was a good friend of mine's band. I really like their band. I won't be able to download this one again, but it's covered in dust, so I clearly never do listen to it, so we'll let it go. All right, now we're down to CDs that were just loose and are not in their cases or don't have cases. Um, the Little People Sing Along, like Cambria listened to this a lot and it drove us nuts. Um, it's great songs for kids, but I don't know if I'd keep it. Would you keep it? I'd keep it for Avia. Yeah? Cam Can liked it. these songs again? We know all the songs now. It'll be so easy to sing along. They are sing-along classics. Um, this says demo songs original and demo two songs. I don't even know... That's not vague at all. Oh yeah, there's the counterfeit one. So I think these are two different bands again. I've been in a couple of bands. Um, so I will keep the... Kev's been around the block. Yeah. Uh... If you're picking up some bonus audio, that would be Tessie. Tessie! Why are you making noise? Yeah. Alright, so I've got a couple more. I've got some video of a band that I played in, I think. I will ditch that because that video is online. Um, but we won't tell you where. I've got another demo. Uh, and I've got another Smashing Pumpkins pair of CDs. So we won't keep those. So all of this is going. This is going to my personal items. My, uh, which is right up there. Which is right up there. So I'll put it up there. Let's watch. You've done a good job being intentional about picking up each one and like parting with it respectfully. Have I been respectful? In, my... in the book, you're supposed to say thank you to everything that you've used and are like getting rid of. Yeah, I mean, these CDs treated me well for many years, over decades, so there's nothing against them. So, CDs have been sorted into the keep and the not keep. We're back with DVDs. Most of it was Kevin's or ours gifts to us. All right, are you ready? Ready. All right. Dollhouse. I expect they probably will rewatch it one day. 
I did like it as a series. Did it spark joy when you picked it up? Were you like, oh yeah, dollhouse? Or were you like, oh, I meant to watch this and didn't? Uh, I wasn't like surprised by it. I knew that I planned on doing a rewatch of it one day, so. And I don't think it's popular enough that it'll be on Netflix. So I'll probably keep this one. Okay. Um, Star Wars Episode 3 does not spark joy. Ooh. Pirates of the Caribbean, this is kind of both of ours. I don't see watching it again. Do you think Cambria would watch it? Yeah, we could get it. Like, we could rent it. Yeah, or... and it's DVD. Like, she's probably going to be like, why is it such bad quality? <laughs> so. Um, this is true. Star Trek The Next Generation Season 2. It's all on Netflix if I want to watch it. I don't think it's going anywhere from Netflix. It's pretty classic, so. I'm not going to keep that. Thank you, though, Heidi, for the gift. It was like 10 years ago. Yeah. Same with Stargate. Uh, I have watched this entire box set twice. So, uh, of 10 seasons, I believe it is, possibly 11. Um, so Sounds like you watched a lot of TV. I did watch a lot of TV. I don't watch as much now, but, uh, but I did watch a lot of TV. Um, you used to have like a laptop on, though, while you like did chores around the house. Yeah, exactly. I didn't just sit and watch this entire thing, like, like it was on in the background kind of thing. For, or like while working out or something. Yeah, skip the episodes that you know you don't love. Um, I don't foresee myself going back to watch it again. Um, it's pretty 90s now, but, uh, but again, I got hours and hours of enjoyment out of this. So thank you Stargate SG-1 and my mother for giving me this box set. Your job is done, you may rest now. <laughs> there must be some like Stargate saying of like, you know, goodbye. They were humans, they weren't... <laughs> <laughs> they weren't all human. Don't act like you didn't watch the entire series too. <laughs> oh, Kevin's a nerd, but I've seen everything, so... <laughs> Over your shoulder. I converted you. Over my shoulder, my bum. <laughs> <laughs> Your anatomy is confusing. <laughs> I've got an unopened uh, Rich Dad Poor Dad, which we also we do like him. Um, but I, seeing as it's a CD-ROM about financial advice, I think it might be outdated. So I'm gonna let it go. Uh, all right, now we're into some stuff we'll probably keep here. Uh, Love Actually, we watch every Christmas. It's also on Netflix. I think we yeah, watched I don't... it on Netflix. I like the movie, but I wouldn't keep it. You wouldn't keep it? No. We own The Hobbit? I did not know we owned The Hobbit. I didn't like The Hobbit that much. It can go. Serenity, I will keep. Goes along with Firefly, which is here. They were on uh, on Netflix. They were just taken off, so that's one of my favorite series and movie. I will keep it. Um, Lord of the Rings we tend to watch once a year because we're awesome um, so we'll keep that that's on blu-ray as well the original Star Wars trilogy also on blu-ray we watch that every couple of years I'd say so we'll keep that Heidi's giving me faces like we're never watching any of these again but uh... we haven't watched any of those I don't think since Cambria was born I want to keep them. Okay. They, they spark, spark joy. joy for me. So. Okay. Then we've got Star Trek and Star Trek Into Darkness. Um, I like those. I like them too. The latest is now on DVD though and we've never seen it. Yeah. So, but I'd kind of probably watch these before we watch that to like remind us. So, we'll hold on to them. And that's it. You have two DVDs here. Okay, I want to hold them up and I'll... <laughs> You're supposed to hold them, Conrad, right, right, right. you cheater. So these are mine too? Yep. That's, that's what you saved for me? That's what I saved for you. Those are your two DVDs that remain. I like The Rock, but if you asked me if I owned it, I would have said yes. So, thank you. And Super Nanny. <laughs> I watched this before I had kids, 
and I thought I knew everything about parenting because I watched this. Then I became a parent and I, there's a lot of good knowledge and anecdotes from the show, but I wouldn't watch it again. Thank you. All That's right. it for mine. There's still... This is all Cambria's. Okay. So let's go through that. Normally in this process I'd want her to be involved and get to have a say, because she can. But I feel like we know what was age appropriate to save for Avia and what's available on Netflix. And she won't. Um... Biggest first moves. She loves. She loved that. Yeah, I would definitely say that. This is the key pile. Yeah. Happy feet. She didn't like. Did not like. We didn't like it. I think more yeah. than she didn't like it. Yeah. Nobody liked it, and it's on Netflix. Shrek. On Netflix. On Netflix. She did like it though. Yeah. Which is weird for. But like, it's popular. I don't see it going anywhere. I think it'll be on Netflix for a long time. Is the holiday collection? No. Uh, Shrek's Christmas, I think, is on Netflix. Again, that's one that may or may not stay. Um, she did really like that yeah. movie, so I think I'd probably keep that holiday well, it's collection. collection of the four. Yeah. yeah. Inside Out. She just quoted that movie to me today. I like this movie. I like that movie too, and I don't think it's popular enough that it'll be consistently on Netflix. Yeah, it is now, but it's still relatively It's new. pretty new, so I'd keep the DVD because I think Avia could enjoy it later on. Okay. Okay. All right. So, our final keep pile is mostly a bunch of nerd stuff and some kids stuff. And our discard pile is a bunch of good movies and TV shows that we enjoyed. That's why we kept them for so long and no longer. Well, thanks so much for watching our CDs and DVDs. We've been so thrilled and touched by the amount of views we've gotten so far in the series. And it's been great for us to go through. Um, up next is, I believe, skincare products and makeup. So that's more mine than Kevin's. <laughs> um, please like and subscribe if you'd like to keep watching our series as we go through the whole house following the Kogmari method. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye. This is freaking sadness. Is it? And boredom. How like visible is my gut here? <laughs> I gotta cover it up. Faces. Me will go a little closer. On my gut? <laughs> Don't shake the camera. <laughs> it shakes like your gut. <laughs> <laughs> it accentuates my gut. <laughs>